Hi guys, I'm Masood and in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, Redux Thunk library that is really really good when you are using Redux inside your React or React Native application and you need to have uh, asynchronous uh, logics inside your project, inside your Redux actions and with adding this middleware to Redux, you will be able to run asynchronous uh, calls uh, inside your actions. So be with us to uh, talk about how you can implement it inside your projects and we will have a really, really uh, short example of it to teach you how you can use it. The project that I want to start with is that a really simple one. You can see that uh, we have it in uh, our previous uh, YouTube video that you can find it through this link. And uh, it was about how to implement Redux. Uh, here we have a notification and after about two seconds, you can see hider and after two seconds it will be disappeared and we want to uh, use uh, redux thong in this example here uh, i just have a folder redux inside this folder i have my own uh, actions and inside the notification js we have our action creators that is written normally uh, that you can see in the redux documentation and they are not uh, asynchronous you were you are not able to write asynchronous logic inside them because they just uh, returns uh, simple javascript objects and here you can see that we have a small reducer called notifications that uh, accept uh, first state, active is false, and text is empty. Uh, we have two actions, show notification and hide. And here in the app.js file, you can see that in the component it mount, we called set timeout and after two seconds, we dispatched the show notification action that you can see show notification is this one. And this action will be sent to our reducer and the notification will be shown using this section uh, this props notification is active then show us the text of our notification so we want to implement redux thong inside this project we only need to install one package from npm so npm install redux thong and wait to be completed you also can see all documentations of redux song from this github repo as you can see npm install redux song the command that we use to install it and it's successfully installed Okay, uh, then we need to uh, make a little change uh, in our index.js file. Uh, the area that we connected and uh, we created our store and connected to our application. In the create store function, I need to uh, add apply middleware and I should add thong here as you can see thong has been 
imported from Redux Thunk library that we recently installed it. Next step is writing uh, our new action with Redux Thunk. Here, uh, let's start with the app.js file. Here, in the component it mounts, I have two set timeout to the first one uh, will uh, will show uh, my hider message notification after two seconds and the other one after five seconds will hide it so I need one only one action to wait for two seconds and then show the notification and after five seconds again hide it for us and this is kind of uh, asynchronous function here this dot props dot let's name it high, show and hide show and hide notif and the text will be hide there from thunk and I also need to import it from the our notification JS file and also change this line. If you are confusing about these sections, you can uh, see the previous video about the uh, configuration of Redux in the React application. Okay, and. Uh, Let's write our first action creator with Redux Thunk. The only difference between uh, normal action creators, for example, hide notification or show notification, with Redux Thunk action creators is that they only return a simple JavaScript object, but in the thunk, we can return a, a new function. So let's see what is happening. Show and hide notif and the text. Here, return a new function. If you know JavaScript well, it's uh, inner functions. It's one of the usage of uh, inner functions, actually. A return function, uh, we don't need any name for it. And uh, the first parameter uh, should be patch, dispatch, and the next one should be get state. Here, it's so amazing that I have access to dispatch and get a state uh, functions with these two things i can for example uh, request a web uh, send a web request and by the result of it i can decide to dispatch another action or several action and also read the new state during our uh, processing or logic so here in our short example, I need a set timeout and inside it, I need to call the dispatch for show the notif, show notification and the takes will be the same. And here to, for example, two seconds and after this, I need to again set timeout and here hide notification or oh, I have forgotten to call the dispatch first and pass it through this hide notification it doesn't have any parameter and the time should be five seconds and you can see that uh, this kind of operation is uh, asynchronous and uh, we couldn't 
run these functions inside uh, our uh, simple action creators but using redux thunk we are able to call async uh, logic and uh, functions okay let's see our example is working or not notification let's refresh and yes we can see that our project is working well it was a really really simple uh, case for uh, showing you how you can implement the redux thong and you can call uh, several uh, functions and for example fetch, fetch requests and uh, change your state for example for the uh, for the project that has uh, authentication step you can call an action to do the authentication for you and you read the values from uh, web storage or somewhere else uh, inside the, the one action and then send them to the server do the authentication step and show the uh, for example notification to the user you can uh, integrate all these uh, kind of uh, operation in just one action creator and this is really good for uh, having better code inside your project i also suggest you that uh, try redux saga if i have time i would uh, create another video for this uh, great uh, library or middleware it's also a good another good way to have uh, asynchronous action creators okay guys thank you for watching this video if you like the content that I'm generating, please uh, subscribe to this channel and like this video. This uh, could be really, really good motivation for me to continue on making this kind of contents. Thank you all. Goodbye.